Let's go, bro. Oh, he's just putting me. Oh my god, almost got killed. Shit. I'm leaving. Oh my god, he's broken. He's broken. Hey, welcome back, everyone, to Overtake and the Dream Team series. In episode three, we go absolutely crazy. No, not talking about my choice of T-shirt, and I let no one say anything against it because it is cool. But instead, I'm actually talking about what we do in terms of racing. Rallycross is the big topic of episode 3. This time we got mixed surface, tarmac and gravel with little buggies and a ton of content creators that all want to be the best. So it sounds like the perfect recipe for a lot of action. But before we actually go into racing action, let's quickly remind ourselves what happened in episode 1 and 2. In episode 1, we went touring car racing and in episode 2, we went up and down Mount Akina in our drift cars. That means a lot of points have been handed out already as we're halfway through our Dream Team series. Talking about those standings, let's quickly look into them. After our two episodes, our current leader is Boar Racing Team. And once again, just remind ourselves, this is combined standing. So the community points plus the points of the content creator teams, 244 right now for Amos Lorito and Hockey Hoshi. Position two, that goes to Team Jazuki, Dan Suzuki and Jardie, 191 points direct up together with the community. Team number three, that's us. That's Team Overtake with this lovely looking young Blatt on the left side, and whoever races with me, whoever is brave enough, last time it was Emily in episode one and two, this time it would actually be Michel joining me for the Rallycross action. We are currently on 130 points going into episode three. Position four, that's Ricky Bobbies, the boys from the US, Slap Train and Cool Kid from the Bronx, 125 points for them so far. Back at Racing Team, our French friends, on 88 points for Anna on Air and Idro, a moist tea bag, Gamer Muscle, the lord of all teas out there, and OC Racing. Together, they got 84 points with their community. Last but not least, obviously, Schlagbosch-Rauber Rennsport. They tried to make it as hard as possible with their name, but so far they make it as hard as, hard as possible to kind of score, as they're only in seventh with 69 points for Ray from the Pixelhead and LPN 05. That are the standings before going into Rallycross Race. So let's actually figure out how will today's episode look like. As already mentioned earlier, episode three is all about Rallycross. What does that mean in terms of format? Quite simple. We're starting off with four heats, seven drivers each. In those heats, we actually bring teams together. So we will have always two drivers of a content creator team and then community teams to fill up the grid. Of those seven drivers, the top four, they move on directly to semi-final A or B. The rest is already eliminated, done and dusted, out of the show. In semi-final A and B, then, we have eight starters with the top four moving on to the grand final and the rest of the pack moving down to the last chance qualifier. Last chance qualifier, as the name obviously suggests already, is the last chance to make it into the grand finale, but only the top two move forward. It will be kind of harsh because everyone will be hunting for these positions. Grand final then, 10 drivers on our little spa rally cross track. So that is a lot of mayhem to be expected. Races are only five laps long. That means not a lot of time to make up positions or to brawl your way through all of the grid. I think Jacob is ready, so let's get into the action. Thank you very much then, Rene, and welcome back everyone here. We have the first heat of the day, heat number one, War Racing Team and Moist Teabag, Hockey Hoshi, Gamer Muscle, Amos Lorito, and OC Racing. Okay, <laughs> uh, fan mate. You too. Only just stay on this top four. We really need these points. Yep, exactly. Oh, look at this. We've got a doctor behind this. I think he's going to, uh, well, <laughs> about to get probed. Evidently, Gamer Muscle has some ideas about where this is going. Let's see the start on board then from Hockey Hoshi. Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Very rough opening there for Hockey Hoshi, but thankfully he's able to keep going and he's still right there with the rest of the pack. Same cannot be said for his teammate Amos Lorito, though. He's gone missing somewhere towards the rear. There you see it. No one anywhere near in front of him. The Italian in a rough spot. Let's see what happened to him. So back at the start of the race, gets clipped in the rear end and into the wall. You can see frustrated there. Nice and smooth. I'm going on the inside like, oh, he's just putting me. <laughs> we're good, we're good, we're good, good. Game of Muscle getting a bit of a taste of his own medicine for what he did to Hockey Hoshi at the start of the race there. Meanwhile, you can see Oscar, his teammate, doing a fantastic job for now, but in a bit of trouble around the long left-hander and makes contact with Naga. No, oh, no, no. Oh, we took you out as well. This guy, this guy. <laughs> get revenge for me. Moist Teabag hoping that Naga will get his comeuppance, and it looks like that's exactly what happened. He's... <laughs> 
He's 360 no scoped it off the wall. Oh man, we were lucky there. Out at the front, Calvin has a comfortable margin down to Hoki Hoshi in second. Come on, Mr. OC, you've got. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No. As soon as you said you got this, I slammed into the corner. Oh. <laughs> I just realized Amos is behind me. It's Calvin up front. Normally, it's Amos leading the way for Bois Racing Team, but right now, Hoki Hoshi is in control. Oh shit, oh shit. As I was saying, in complete control of both his car and his tongue. But here we see now Amos Lorito actually has caught back up, looking to try and gain a spot in the top four. That's all important. He's with Naga right now. Of course, the top four drivers are the ones that advance. And it looks like Amos is going to be challenging Naga for that all-important spot. Naga running wide, drifting wide, and that lets Amos through. Go, mate. I will stay close. Don't take risk. Don't take risk. Some tactics coming out then for Bois Racing Team, but it's Calvin who leads the way comfortably. 6.6 .6 seconds between himself and Gamer Muscle in second at the moment. Come on, James. But for how much longer will he hold on to that second position? Hoki Hoshi is chasing him down. Let's not forget these two came together at the very start of the race. But now the American is once again on Gamer Muscle's tail, putting him under pressure. Oh, he's catching me. Hoki Hoshi. Here then we see the field. Gamer Muscle second, Hoki Hoshi third, chasing him down. Amos Lorito currently holding on to fourth from Naga behind. And then there's Dr. Six Nine. Seems lonely. I will remember you. But back to the action. We see the drivers rounding the final corner for the penultimate time as they're about to start the final lap of the race. Gamer Muscle ahead of Hoki Hoshi. Ah, oh, Hoki Hoshi's chasing me. It's like the T-Rex in Jurassic Park. Are you okay, James? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm getting into it. Oh my god, I need to focus on my own race. And with that, it definitely seems like OC Racing will not be making it. Calvin has claimed the checkered flag, but right now it's between Gamer Muscle and Hockey Hoshi across the line. Gamer Muscle claims second position, Hockey Hoshi third, and Amos Lorito qualifies in fourth, holding off Naga. Oh, that was awesome. Turn one, I just immediately got hit. <laughs> I don't know what happened, but oh, okay, we we're made on it. The round two, though. Yes, we made it. We guaranteed Woo. the points. Yes. Woo, well done. Very fun opening race then. It looked a bit hairy at the start for Bois Racing Team, but our championship leaders were able to pull it back and both advance to the next round. And now we move on to the second heat of the day. We have the Ricky Bobbies and Team Jarzuki. That means we have Slap Train, Cool Kid, Jaria, and Dan Suzuki. All of them starting from the front row. All right, it's time, Slap! Woo! Let's go. Oh my God, this is so bad. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Uh -huh. More so just, I don't wanna crash. And I have yeah, a feeling, listen, Everybody behind me, if you don't break for this first corner, I will sue you. No surprises as the American representative threatens to sue. And we get underway on board with Slap Train, who has the outside line for the start. Good start for the front three. Cool Kid in a bit of trouble and gets spun round. I'm the only person that got spun. I'm suing. I'm suing. I'm suing. Let's see what the action's like at the front of the Jardier and Dan Suzuki leading the way for now. And what on earth is happening there? One of our community drivers appears to be stuck in the floor. But anyway, let's have a listen to Jardier and Dan. I start. Let's go. Let's run away. Just gonna take it easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll we'll follow up for now. Formation flying there from our leading pair as Dan leads Jarzuki around onto the second lap of the race. Just behind them, it's Slap Train still in third for now, but under a lot of pressure from community driver Thomas Schmidt just behind. He couldn't quite get the move done on this lap. The next lap, it was a different story. I'm up here with the fast boys and he's pushing me outside a little bit. I'm gonna just let him go so I can just focus. Go ahead, Thomas. Everyone do a joker lap now. Imagine. He just comes in and tells us. If I get the message from crew chief to spin this guy for you, I'll do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Remember, we get three bumps per race. Yup, yup, yup. Not entirely sure about that one from Cool Kid there. Meanwhile, though, Dan still leading the way. Jardier in second. Thomas Schmidt currently holds on to third position. Backmarker getting between himself and Slap Train in fourth. Oh, I can't wait to get to the pit so I can call my lawyer. Let me know what day, bro, so I can be there for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> I need all the witnesses. Don't worry. I'm pretty sure we got it all on tape. Out at the front, it's Dan Suzuki who rounds the final corner to claim the victory. His teammate close in behind. Come on, let's go. Nice. Nice, man. <laughs> let's go. That was good. 
Ooh, we run away. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind them, it's Thomas Schmidt who will claim third and Slap Train gets fourth. That it? Let's go, bro. Fourth place. Huge. That's huge. Oh man, that man. Yo, whoever that is, bro, I, you, you're gonna hear from my lawyer. Matter of fact, let me make a phone call real quick. Let me just, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let him know. So, Cool Kid not as happy with the result as his teammate, and he will be knocked out. But nevertheless, Jazuki looking very strong after Heat 2. Onwards we go to the third heat of the day. This one will feature Baguette Racing Team and Team Overtake, the latter of whom locked out the top two spots in qualifying. There's the lights. Revving it to the fullest. I raté my départ, comme ça c'est. Ça arrange tout le monde. Plenty of bark, but not a lot of bite from the rear wheels for Anna there. Meanwhile, though, it's Rene leading at the front from Panic Fungus in second. Michel lost out on a position. He's currently in third with Mr. Mullins looking up his inside, and there's going to be contact between the two German drivers, allowing Idro into second position. Rene still leads. Here we are on board with Idro, fighting for second right now. You can see really struggling to hold on to the car, but has an opportunity. No! He's spinning Hydro. I survived. No, I didn't. Oh, putain, they're all crashed. Because they were waiting for us. And after all that chaos, it's Rene leading at the front, followed by Panic Fungus in second, Darkangelo Valerio in third, and Hydro currently holding on to fourth. Oh, oh, oh! zone, avance! The last one, but for how long? Oh, there's a guy who turned. Yeah, it's me who's out. I'm fourth. Nice. <gasps> who's that? Where's Anna came from? Oh my god, no. That's it, that's it. I'm, I'm done. Anna catching strays there, even though she was not involved in the incident. Michael once again getting together with Mr. Mullins. Down in seventh, though. Can he recover as his teammate sets the fastest lap of the race out at the front? Comfortable margin for Rene. Still pushing, but maybe a bit too much. <laughs> it was the same stupid mistake like on the initial D1. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> Moi je joue ma vie là, hein. vraiment, c'est. Je découvre une vocation là. Moi aussi. C'est combien Je suis payé deux pour l'instant. Ah, uh, deux tours. Cinq tours. Meanwhile, currently in fifth, Michel is pushing like hell. I have to drive like the devil now. I see uh, the Angelo in front of me. That's enough, come on. Valerio is in front of me. It's a battle between good and evil for fourth position as the Archangel Valerio is being chased down by the devil Michel. As now we head up through Radion, Michel going into the left hander. And oh, there's a car. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Mullins spun. Mr. Mullins spun. I'm, I'm fourth. Nice. Overtake will go to the semis. No, don't. Don't jinx Oop. it, please. Critical error there for Mr. Mullins. As the German Schlagbohr Schrauber Rennsport driver looks like he will not be able to qualify now. Here comes Rene to claim the victory and the checkered flag. And I'm through. In the biblical struggle between good and evil, both teams seem like they're going to make it through. As Valeria rounds the final corner to claim third, Michel in fourth. I was really lucky that uh, Mr. Mullins messed up the first corner. So I'm fourth. I made it. Here comes the despondent Mr. Mullins as he crosses the line in fifth. Behind him, we have Anna also not making it. <laughs> so there we have it. Two very different but equally impressive drives from Team Overtake as Michel fought his way from the back to qualify and Rene led comfortably from start to finish. Idro also advancing. And here we go then for the final of our four heats. We have the two representatives from Schlagbohr, Schrauber Rennsport, LPN 05 and Ray, along with five community drivers. Uh, Denk dran, du hast links von dir drei Stück. Und yeah, ich hab, links von mir bist du dann, ne, würde ich behaupten, ne? Direkt. Genau, und ich habe okay. links von mir die zwei schnellen. Am besten die zwei durchziehen lassen, sie sind eh schneller. Ray looking to be cautious off the start, but actually he gets the best start of anyone. Into the lead he goes. Bo Dixon in second, Weser running wide in third. Lucas also tumbling down the order to start with. Bad start for LPN05 down in sixth position for now as we head around the hairpin for the first time. It's Ray leading the way. Bo Dixon in second, Tweedy losing it on the inside, making a little bit of contact with LPN05, but he's able to keep going. Here he is trying to fight his way through traffic. 
in der Rechtskurve zwei innen vorbei überholt. Uh. Lucas making it up into fourth. The three drivers behind him coming together, spinning round, and that's bad news for them. Neben hat sich einer gedreht. Ich hoffe, ich war das nicht. Ich bin mir nicht sicher am Ende. And with that, Tweety's left to try and chase down LP05 for that all-important fourth position. And out to the front, Ray is leading, but Bo Dixon also putting him under a little bit of pressure as the race continues. There you see the German driver just ahead of Bo. But we get round onto the final lap, and Ray holds him off to claim the victory, and he advances to the next round. Hast du geholt? Ja, du auch, ne? Ja, ich komm durch. Yes, sir. Geil. Ja, man! Woohoo! Schlagbohr, Schrauber, Rennsport yes, is on live here. Woo. Ja, das war ein gutes Rennen. So there we have it, both Schlagbohr, Schrauber, Rennsport drivers making it through to the semi-finals. Let's go back to Rene now in the studio to see how that all shakes out and who will be racing who in the next round. After the first four heats, we already have to say goodbye to OC Racing and Anna on air as they're now eliminated. We got our grid together for semifinal A and B, and at least to me, it seems semifinal A might be the tougher one with Dan Suzuki, Chardy, Gamer Muscle, everyone in there fighting for a top four spot. On semifinal B, that's where Michael and me will try to stay alive and our dreams coming true in terms of grand final. Yes, maybe not. We go up against Idro, Ray, and LPN05. So let's get into that. Now it is time for the first of our semi-final races, as we have six of our content creator drivers in this one. Amos Larissa will lead the way. Dan Suzuki, Jardier, James West, Hockey Hoshi, and Slap Train all going to be involved. I am fully monkey in the middle right here. Oh, my lord. Jardier on the outside line. That's not a good place for him. For fun and justice! Slap Train's probably going to go sideways into me. Little buggy, you're the one. I can see Dan Suzuki shaking his wheel in his cockpit. <laughs> I hope his motion rig falls over. That's the only chance. Yeah! We've seen some aggression so far from Gamer Muscle, but that takes things a step further as we get underway then in the semi-final. Amos Lorito leads off the start. Dan Suzuki challenging around the outside. Very clean start from everyone involved. No contact so far. Amos still leading. Dan Suzuki, Jardier, Calvin, and there's Thomas Schmidt into the barrier, but he hasn't taken anyone with him, and he's able to keep going right now. Still not even in last, currently in seventh with Slap Train behind. In one spot already. I just got clogged, but I'm good though. You're good, you're good, let's go. I don't want to talk too much, I'm scared. It's all good. Even though he's already been knocked out, Cool Kid's still feeling the nerves for the Ricky Bobbies. Go, Thomas! <laughs> I'm on the inside. Oh! Oh my god, I almost got Holy killed. Shit, that was, that was like a millimeter, <laughs> yeah. Almost, uh, Jarpedo Jardier there. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was James Wells. <laughs> And now we jump ahead to the third lap of the race. Calvin leads the way with Amos just in behind him. Then we have the Jarzuki pairing, Dan Suzuki and Jardier in third and fourth. Gamer Muscle chasing them down in fifth, still very close. No, Jardier and Dan Suzuki are working together. Don't make a mistake, no, damn it. <laughs> I'm afraid of Gamer Muscle behind me. We have to do something uh, out of the textbook here. Ominous stuff there from Gamer Muscle. Here we see Amos Lorito, though, challenging for the race lead. Calvin up ahead of him. You can see the concentration intense on the Italian's face once more as he goes for the outside and cannot quite find it. <laughs> okay, next lap I've got to go full send. It's the only choice. It's the only chance. It's time to go bowling with Gamer Muscle, I think. Oh, no. Bowling with Gamer Muscle. That's not what you want to hear if you're Jardier right now. Meanwhile, here's Amos Lorito still challenging for the race lead with Calvin as they cross the start finish line onto the final lap. Calvin just about holding him off for the time being. Amos will have a chance into the hairpin up ahead as they head through Eau Rouge and Radion. Meanwhile, behind them, here's Hockey Hoshi, and there's contact with the wall in front. Someone's down. Two are down. I'm through. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Damn. Damn. I think we know what time it is now. Here we go up the hill. You die. You suck at this game. Oh my god, have you seen that? You freaking uh. game muscle, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried. I was in front of him for, for a quarter of a second there. Jodier has to be thanking his lucky stars after that one. Here we go at the front, the final corner. Calvin just about able to hold off Amos Lorito to claim victory. 
we, we did hit him. It was a tactical manoeuvre. We had to go for it. We had to try it. But it didn't work out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We made it. Oh, my God. It was scary. I was just looking in the mirror. James going full speed into the hairpin, you know? That was a rough one, though, for me, man. I got turned, and I had traffic on the dirt of the last corner coming around. Hokey just wasn't really getting it around, and I kind of got into him as well. You, you still have a, that opportunity for the for comeback, mate, eh? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, you're making it in. I'll yeah. see if I can uh, bring it back. Come on, come on. It's not over yet then for Hockey Hoshi, Slap Train, and Gamer Muscle. They have the chance to make it through in the last chance qualifier. Semi-final number two, as we have five more of our content creator drivers trying to find a place in the final round. Rene, LPN05, Ray, Michel, and Idro all ready to battle it out. Oh, okay. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, ciao. I see myself in the last chance qualifier already, but let's see. You'll make it, Michel, don't worry. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. It's time then for the race start. On board with LPN05. Decent getaway here, but we're getting sandwiched. Oh, yo, René, schubst mich. Äh, Bill hat mich direkt weggeschubst. Ah, Junge. Oh, ich bin letzter. Lucas seems to think that René is the one to blame. But let's see how it really went down. Oh, yo, René, schubst mich. And there we see Rene on the outside, but it's Rai on the inside. Inter team conflict for Schlagbosch Schalber Rennsport there. And now Lucas finds himself all the way at the back of the field. Meanwhile, Rene looks to try and claim the lead. I'm leading! I'm leading! Oh my god, I made it! <laughs> the lead overtake driver clearly loving life out at the front for the time being as he leads Bo Dixon in second, Rai there in third, Shark currently in fourth, and Lucas already gaining ground. On board with Michiel here as we see Lucas up ahead and into the side. I will lose now. Oh, Lucas spun, Lucas spun. For the second time this race, Lucas finds himself tumbling to the back of the order. And this time, the mountain he has to climb is rather larger. Meanwhile, Rene losing out on first position. Bo taking the lead. Round the hairpin, we go once again. Bo from Rene, from Rai, from Idro, then Shark and Michiel in sixth. Onwards then to the third lap of the race, and we still have the same order, but Rai is right there with our leading pair, making it a three-horse race out at the front for the time being. Idro still hanging on in fourth, but a little bit of a gap starting to form between himself and the Germans up ahead of him. Bo leads, Rene second, Rai third. Oh, what a match! <laughs> These buggies are amazing! They're so much fun! Plenty of smoke up ahead right now for Idro as he looks to try and hold on to fourth and a spot in the final. I hit the wall. No way. No. That's what I'm talking about, and I do the same mistake. No way. Critical error from Michel there. Oh, God, he's it's broken. He's broken. He's broken. It's broken. It won't start I again. Crash on <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Despite all the chaos behind, it's tranquility at the front. Bo will lead them home to claim a beautiful victory for himself. Rene second, Rai third, and who will come in fourth? Looks like it'll be Shark. That's it, second. <laughs> Great job, Rene. Grand final for you. <sighs> I just came seventh and I had a chance. I really had a chance. That's really no, sad. No. I was sure we both make it through. Yeah, obvious. Mes frères, mais j'étais juste bien. J'étais trop bien. J'ai trop le seum. C'est quatrième et tout. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never. Cheer up, Idro. We still have the last chance qualifiers to come, where we will see which two drivers will progress to the final. And no need to wait to see it. Here we have the last chance qualifiers. Two drivers will make it through. Will it be LPN05, Idro, Hockey Hoshi, Michel, Gamer Muscle, or Slap Train? Fünf Runden nochmal Konzentration. Ich meine, wir haben die Pace. Muss ja halt nur <laughs> konstant über fünf Runden holen. I have the blue car. Yeah, what, what could go wrong? What can go wrong? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Forget June buggy, this is going to be uh, June. Oh, the, the film with the worm in it. I'm going to be the worm. <laughs> Here we go. I love my warthog on this thing, man. Heck yeah. Here we go. Doom, doom, doom. Let's go on board with Hockey Hoshi as the American gets a great run off the line, knocked into the back and into Michel, who runs wide. Ah, oh, no, yeah. Michel, come on. Yeah, there was no place someone hit me and then I just caught myself in the wall. Going. 
One driver down, but seven still in contention as we head into the hairpin. Dive bomb from Lucas, and he's into Hockey Hoshi. Behind them, Thomas Schmidt and Slap Train get together. Slap with a wheelie. Ach, fuck off, ehrlich. Ja, toll. DNF, das war's. Ich wurde in die Wand geglitscht. Wer auch immer da gedivebombt hat. Toll, toll, toll. But if it wasn't LPN05 who committed the dive bomb, then who was it? Let's take a look on board with a certain gamer muscle, James West, I should have known. <laughs> Strike! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I mean, I, I, it was a gentle tap. Gamer muscle clearly feeling precisely zero remorse as he has the race lead all to himself for now, but Idro is still challenging him. As we head around the final corner, Idro making a little bit of contact there with Gamer Muscle. You want to be careful with that. We know how he can get as they jump over onto the second lap of the race. Idro with the inside through turn one. Gamer Muscle around the outside, losing the lead for now. But they still have Eau Rouge, then Radion, and then another opportunity into the tight left hand of the hairpin here. Gamer Muscle going for it. Oh! Hockey Hoshi behind us. James already driving in his mirrors. Sliding, no. Are you kidding me right now? Yay! I clipped that wall. I'm so sorry. I see Slip Train now as well. Yeah, Slip Train and Valerio got together. On board then with Hockey Hoshi. Chasing Gamer Muscle down for that all-important second position. Remember, only the top two drivers in this race will advance to the final, so it's really critical for Gamer Muscle to try and hold on and for Hoki Hoshi to try and deprive him of that spot as they round the final corner for the third time in this race. Hoki Hoshi has a little bit of a chance with the inside line. The inside has less grip. <laughs> if you go off the track... Gamer Muscle discovering the fundamentals of racing live as we speak, but he's also discovering what it's like to be in third position. Hoki Hoshi has the advantage, but we know that James loves a dive bomb into the hairpin here. Is he going to go for it? Yes, he is, but he can't quite get it slowed down in time. He went for it. Oh, man, the classic move. Come on. Fantastic job, Hoki Hoshi. He managed to stay in front of us there. Great. Here we go then, on to the final lap. It's always been these three, but now it looks like it's Idro and Hockey Hoshi who'll bring it home. Let's go. <laughs> yes! We made it in the finals! Woo! <laughs> oh, I couldn't beat the baguette or the American flag. I got eagled and baguette. A baguette is it an eagle carrying a baguette around the track? <laughs> My tea bag dried out. From a moist tea bag to a bone dry one. Sadly, Gamer Muscle will not be joining us to provide his unique style of racing action in the final. Instead, it will be Idro and Hoki Hoshi who will join the contenders. Now we know who will go through to the grand final. And unfortunately, we had to say bye bye to my teammate Michel, which means it's all on me when it comes to scoring for Team Overtake. But with drivers like Jardier, who you might remember already had a little accident with me in race one, this will be a tough one. And I'm absolutely sure it's gloves off because this is a real fight. Here's the grand final. Gloves off indeed. It's time for the grand final and some white knuckle racing between the 10 drivers who will duke it out to be the one on top. Here we go then. Amos Lorito has Paul Rye in second, Calvin in third, and Rene manages a spot on the front row in fourth as well. I would say this is one of the worst qualifying positions to be in, but we're just going to keep it clean. Got to survive the first lap and then we can see. I'm going full sun. That's going to be werden. Fünf Runden Chaos, glaube ich. Overtake has to score points. We need to get back in there in the championship. Here come the lights then. All drivers ready to go. And we are underway in the final. Amos Rita with a decent start. Calvin also has a good start challenging him. And there's contact bow into Calvin. And there's a pile up behind. Amos runs away clear at front. Oh my God. Big wreck. Massive crash here. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, I almost made it out of that unscathed. Oh no. My teammate Shark. Oh no. Okay, where are we at? Sixth? Let's take a breath. It's Amos Lorito in the lead with Dan Suzuki right and last chance qualify. Idro in fourth. Try and make it third. Yeah, this is classic. Hauptfinale, alle ultra aggressiv. Jetzt gibt's nur Schulter raus und hoffen, dass man's überlebt. 
Lots of robust racing on the first lap then, and after that, it's Amos leading the way by two seconds. Dan Suzuki second, Idro third, Ray and Bo Dixon all still in close attendance. Here is our race leader looking unfazed as he climbs the hill. Round the hairpin he goes with no trouble. Idro behind. <laughs> He didn't have to break, I mean. Idro not taking responsibility for that incident there, but he's still in third position. He'll be happy with that. Two seconds between himself and Dan Suzuki, and then a further two to Amos out front. I'm too long, they're too fast for me, in any case. We'll come back. If we do a bit of a trial, it's not too long. No, I got crashed all alone. Okay, I got it. Oh, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it. An impressive save there from Idro, but now it looks like he's going to be swallowed up by the rest of the chasing pack. At the back of it, we have Rai and Rene with just two and a half laps left to go. Here they go through the hairpin. Will everyone make it through unscathed? It doesn't look like it. Rene and Jardier into each other. Why does he turn in, Jardier? Why do you turn in? Oh my god, somebody just from the inside completely wrecked everyone. I mean, me. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Take a look then at this three-car battle. Idro, Ray, and Bo all still going and really fighting it out over fourth, fifth, and sixth positions through turn one we go. Bo and Idro both run a little bit wide. This is going to give the opportunity to Ray, and he takes it without a second moment's notice. Into fourth he goes. Idro just behind him, fifth still. As they head up towards the hairpin, he's going to be under pressure, but he holds on to it nicely. A driver who isn't under any pressure whatsoever is Amos Lorito. 3.2 second margin out front from Dan Suzuki. He himself has four and a half seconds down to Hoki Hoshi, who's trying to make it a double podium for Bois Racing Team in the final. Can Amos and I both podium? Oh no, he said it. You never say it, Hoki Hoshi. What have you done? Oh, I went so wide. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He still has a chance to save it though, Ray, trying to get through the inside, but won't quite make it as they enter the final lap of the race. Hockey Hoshi still in third for now. Ray right behind him as he sets the fastest lap of the race and by quite a margin, the German on an absolute charge as they go through Eau Rouge. Now up around Radion and then in to the hairpin once more. Ray on the inside takes third position away. Come on, let's do this. Ray put up a hell of a fight. That was close. I'm not going to risk it. I'll take fourth. Ray locked in, claims third position then for now as Amos Lorito will claim the overall victory. The reigning Dream Team Series champion is the Rallycross champion as well. Dan Suzuki comes across the line in second and here comes Ray to claim his spot on the podium, battling back from eighth with just two laps left to go. Hoki Hoshi fourth, Idro fifth, Jardier sixth, Bo seventh and Rene in eighth. Well done, Amos! Mate, you finished in the P4. I finished fourth. Oh my god. Why did I go? did it, man. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Fantastic job, mate. Basically, I, I just had to be careful in turn one, and after that, I was second, and then everyone around me wrecked. Woo! This is why you never ever give up. Bam! Bam, indeed, as Ray claims the final spot on the podium. Amos Lorito, the overall victor. Thank you to all of our drivers and thank you all for watching as well. We'll send it back to Rene in the studio. A grand final is in the books as well. And that means we're close to our final results for episode three. Uh, one thing quickly to note, you might saw me and Jardier coming together, but afterwards in Discord, after a two hour discussion, we decided that it's all James' fault. So, um, yeah, don't have to blame me. It's all James' fault. But let's get into the actual results of the race. Big winner of our Rallycross Endeavor here, Amos Laurito again, scoring 60 points. The big win in the grand final, followed right by Dan Suzuki, 54 there. Then Ray, who had that great overtaking that happened against Hoki Hoshi at the end of the race, sending Hoki Hoshi into fourth with 48 points. Then our quickest community member, Bo Dixon, with 45 points. Idro and Jardier right behind me, behind Jardier, we talked about that, all James to blame. And then Calvin Tola and Shark to round out the top 10 and the 10 races that happened in the grand final. Once again, we obviously have to bring all these points together from community members, from our creators, 
for our combined standings. So after episode three, who is in the lead? Let's have a look. Still in the lead, even after our three episodes, is Amos Lorito and Hockey Hoshi. That's Boar Racing Team. 402 points by now, and it seems like Amos Lorito is on his way to a second championship in the Dream Team series. They are followed right by Team Jazuki, 334 points together with the community for Dan Jazuki and Jardie. Third, nothing changed here either. 196 points for, uh, in this case, Michel and me for Team Overtake. Thanks again once to our community. The Ricky Bobby Slap Train and Cool Kit now on 188 points. Definitely getting carried by uh, their community. Have to say that, sorry Slap. But uh, let's see who's right behind them. Schlagbord Schrauber Rennsport, 150 points for Ray and LPN05. Baguette Racing Team 145. Now after our three episodes with Anna on air and Idro still looking for the big points. Someone has to be last and in this case it is Moist T-Back with OC Racing and Gamer Muscle. Those two will not be happy about their performance so far but luckily there's still one more episode and one more race to come. And in episode four, we will change the format once again. As this time, we'll have a faster car, kind of LMP style, where one driver has to be in that class and then the one driver has to drive a more track day kind of car to score points together in our multi-class event. One hour of racing in Brands Hatch. That's what will come in episode four. If you like the Dream Team series or what we do in general here on Overtake, then don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. And obviously in the comments down below, let us know who's your favorite driver. Do you have any ideas for Dream Team series 2023? Or whatever you might want to say, just put it in there or join our Discord and get in discussion about what we do next here at Overtake. Nothing more for me to say other than my name is Renee, and I see you guys next time.